Welcome to the instructional video for the Compertex CBD Estimating Template for Microsoft Excel. So, okay, let's get started. When the program first opens, it'll be on the License tab. It's probably good to read through that so you understand what the license is, what you can and can't do. If you'll notice across the bottom of the program, there's a series of tabs. Getting started, step one, setup, main, all schedules, tracking, summary, notes, and change orders. When you initially want to set up your program, is I would say you would go to the step one tab and type in the name of your home building company then put in a budget prepared by and a date whatever that say you know like uh, Bob 2-15 put in your plan numbers all these kind of anything in these blues are changeable and you'll see that throughout the program if it's blue it's changeable now sometimes you're gonna see things such as Jim's name or the home builders name if you go back to the main budget, you see it right here, but it's in black. That's because the only place it can be changed is on the step one setup. So let's assume that we put all the proper footages, uh, the number of rooms, bathrooms, and everything in this initial setup. Then we go to the main. In the main, this is the heart of the entire estimating program everything in here you'll notice these little yellow these little red arrows they will give you those are called hint buttons and it tells you different things about those inputs this is very helpful if you're not sure of what something is now let me start out with pricing in this program this pricing in this program is without a doubt not accurate for your locale period so initially, when you first get this program, you will go through the entire main budget and update these prices for different things like what you pay for flat work and so on. And when you get all that done, all the way down through, and then go to your schedules page, and you can put in what you're paying for your cabinets, and you can make that any kind of cabinet, what it is and how much it is per lineal foot and so on and what you're paying for countertops, uh, what you're paying for lumbers, you know, all the way through here. And when you get, here's your lumber. And when you get this, what you're paying for your lumber, because lumber, be honest with you, prices in one locale, 10 builders will pay 10 different prices for lumber or toilets or cabinets so that's why the programs you hear about with one size fits all isn't there a database with prices in it they're meaningless if you want an accurate estimate of building your house you've got to use the prices that you actually get for whatever items and I won't belabor on that any longer <laughs> once you get all this filled out then go back to your setup and say file and save it as the master budget this way you'll never have to go back and put all these prices in over every time you do a budget and anytime you do a budget you always once you get the budget complete you literally save it as a particular name so you know that's a budget for that house so if you've done 10 homes you'll have 10 separate budgets one thing that's uh, very important is that, and this would help you also, when you go to name your particular file and you want to uh, have a certain name for that file, you know, right here on the main tab, you'll go up here, file name, put that in here. All this is is for you, when you open a budget, you'll know which house it's for. 
So you could put in there the Smith House. And that's it. So, and maybe you've so you've saved it as a Smith House. That's you know that that those two things work together. Now that we've got our schedule pricing and our setup prices and the getting started page, I didn't mention it in the beginning, but that's basically a, a hint page with a whole bunch of factors of how you do different calculations and so on. It's a very helpful page. So back to the getting a budget done. You've now done your setup, all your different uh, sizes and addresses and so on, your main budget. And now you start going into here. Now, this is one area that, that I, I'm very uh, adamant about. You should never allow the program to calculate your plumbing or electrical HVAC, even though it does. This is called a bid override. And a bid override is the you get a bid on plumbing and electrical because you be, could be using mowing or you could be using, uh, you know, uh, just about any faucet. Some are cheap, some aren't. Electrical, same thing. How many elect outlets? HVAC, is it a? Uh, 14 sear, 16 sear. So those you definitely need to get bud. Unless our plumbing bid was actually 14,500. That's where you put that amount in there. That overrides this right here. And you'll do the same for electrical and H HVAC. As you come down through here, you've already filled in most of your prices. And all you've got to do is, okay, how many hours for excavation? That particular lot may be 12 hours. Okay. And so on and so on. And, and you can, it's pretty self exclamatory. The one question we hear a lot is well, I don't, there's an item that I don't, I need and it's not on here. We have tons and tons of these little either others or miscellaneous this or miscellaneous. If it's blue, like say shutters, I can use that category for anything I want to use it. Everything that's on this main budget will completely follow through on the program to the tracking page. And if I change, you know, whatever that item is, and this is this is kind of a neat section. If you don't have a real good accounting system, this is a way to track that your house is staying on budget. And it's very, very simple. If it's got three draws, that's fine. If it's not, it's only got one, whatever, depending on whether it's plumbing or, or whatever, you know, or cost of plans, flat work. As you enter those amounts, you can put a date of, above it and then you can put in the amount and then it keeps track of what you have budgeted and it tells you the variation which is really a nice feature in this for small custom builders and then it tells you variances and so on now and then you also have what we call a summary and everybody loves this feature you know when you get your budget completely done you know what your costs are going to be you have to go to that wonderful bank and get an interim loan. They don't want a great big budget. They want a one or two or three page, are you going to make money budget? And that's what this page is for. It summarizes the entire budget and shows what you're going to make. Excellent feature for everyone. You even have a notes section. And in the notes section for this particular customer, as things progress and you're building it, you can make all sorts of notes in here. That's all it's there for. It's like a little scribble pad. Now, we've, we've covered the summary, the tracking, the schedules. The schedules I'm going to go back to because I think there's a part that we didn't cover, and that was once you have all most of your information in, then you're going to put in your wall lengths for each room. You don't count the same wall twice. In other words, if it's shared by the dining room and the living room, you only put it in one of them. If it's not, they're two separate walls. Over here, you'll notice molding. And here, it's not, a, it's not undoubtedly a perfect system, but you can allow for crown molding. And if there's none, it's zero. If is it one, is it one crown, double crown, or triple crown, or whatever you want, you just put your numbers in here. And then it works with, back down here, where all your materials for building your house, your lumber materials, which have been all priced out, it'll start calculating your trim and so on. So again, let's go back to that main budget. 
two questions that we have a lot. At the top of the page, there is, well, how do I know what is sales price? The estimating program only does one thing. It calculates your cost. So you decide what you're going to sell the house for, and then over here it will show you the profit and percentage. So you can keep changing this if you want to make that 4,005 or 4, 450,000. Your percentage of profit just went up to 2339 and $105,000. Here's another question that pops up a lot. What is extra commission? Extra commission is are you planning on building a spec and possibly having a realtor sell it? So what you can do in your cost is allow for either 3% or 6%. You would put that in there. If there isn't any, then put zero in there. And that really is just about everything about this program. Just keep in mind, if it's blue, you can change it. If, if it's black, you cannot. That completes the instructional video for the CopperTech's CBD Estimating Program.